setting up an SRX 800 MD type receiver for data logging. First off, connect to your receiver via USB or RS-232 and log on. The default password is 123456. Press OK. It will give you a message saying you're successfully logged on. You have to do a few things to uh, set up a receiver for the first time. First off, just in case you've had it running before, make sure that you have no data on board. As you can see, I have a few battery statuses on mine. You must be in setup mode to delete this data. So I push the small red circle with the white square inside to stop the receiver from scanning and you're going to see USB connection and setup is in the user access location. Press data download and then reset data memory. If you have actual like uh, manually logged data it's a good idea to download it prior to that because you will lose it. Press exit and then uh, go to project editor. It's critical that you go live to set up your receiver because this is actually what's on board your receiver right now. In my case I have Lotech Code Set 3 uh, which is uh, a 2000 code set. It's made in May 26, 2000 that's why. And there's 212 codes. This allows for sensor capability um, as well. Now you have various options on the scan settings page. Uh, scan time. Always set your uh, your scan time to half a second longer than the longest burst interval of your tag. In other words, if you have a six second burst interval, set it at 6.5 seconds. Um, there is also TOA, CRTO, GPS clock, GPS positions and adaptive gain control. Since this is a very basic setup, none of these are required. You just have to make sure that you apply it and always send to your receiver. Uh, next on our list is frequency and channels over here on the left. I have three channels on board this receiver. I'm just going to remove them. It's very simple. Just highlight a line and and then uh, hit the little yellow button here, the sort of like a rewind button on an old tape layer. Anyways, I'm going to enter uh, a new frequency, 169500, and I'm going to assign it a channel number, which is right there, 22. And for this, I'm going to use a sensor type tag. Um, and you can purchase temperature, pressure, temperature, pressure motion, and uh, pressure um, uh, temperature as well. Anyways, I'm just going to send this over now by hitting the green button, and it goes into the middle. And uh, I'm just going to use uh, one uh, sensor one. And now I'm just going to key in for another one six eight point five zero zero. I'm going to send it as an ID tag only. This allows you to have on a different frequency ID tags, and then sensor tags. On another frequency. Never uh, mix those. It's not a good idea on the same frequency. Okay, so I'm just going to hit apply and then I'm going to send it to my receiver. And uh, next up is antenna configuration. If you have an ASB8 switch box, uh, then you would select using antenna switch. In this case, I'm not. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to select it so I can show you that you're using, you can use different ports. Okay, so the different ports are listed out as 1 to 8 on your antenna switch box. And your antenna switch box is labeled 1 to 8 as well. You have, at this time, I'm not going to use this for a particular one. I'm just going to delete that. But you have a chance to select all antennas as a master or you can select one antenna as a master. This just means that 
if you have a row of antennas, if it's going to hit the first one, then it'll sequentially go through the next group. All, let's say you have eight antennas, all seven of them in sequential order, whatever the order of the list here is. In this case, I'm not going to use it, so I'm just going to use my antenna port on the front of the unit, and I'm going to set my gain up fairly high. I'm going to put it up at 73, and then I'm going to apply and send it to my receiver. Each page, it's a good idea just to send it to your receiver. Filter settings. A lot of people don't have to use filter settings, but if you notice on the left here, the, the frequencies I've entered already are there just in case I want to filter at a tag ID or a channel in a tag ID or accept certain channel and certain tags only. Uh, m most people just don't require filters at the beginning, so no filters is the way to go. Uh, make sure that pulse width and signal strength deviation are unchecked unless you're in an extremely noisy environment. And the noise threshold just means that anything under 10 on your signal strength will not be recorded. Most important, send to your receiver and then go to your sensor page. In this case, code set selected from scan settings page is Lotec 3. This is very important. It says you have 15 scaling levels available under code set 3. This is our latest host which allows for uh, a new code set which has not been implemented as, as yet. Okay, so in this case temperature and I have pressure as well. So temperature is in here and I'm going to add pressure. And the scaling is going to be 0 to 50 psi. That's roughly 0 to 35 meters in depth. And then I just have to make sure that I apply it and I send to my receiver. And now anytime you select sensor on your tag type it will assume that you have a temperature pressure tag. And that's all. You just press OK, save the edited, edited file, you're going to give it a name. This is called an SRX800 project. So in my case I'm just going to write test project and save it as an SRX file. Now it kicks you back to the other screen where now you can just start data logging. If you hear in the background that's the hiss of the receiver at 73 in this very noisy environment. So I'm going to show you live view and it'll show you just switching channels from one, one channel to another. In this case, channel 22 was my first one, 169.500. And the next one is 168.500. One is a sensor channel, one is not. These uh, records that are just showing you, you're changing from one antenna to another. This is all antenna zero. I never added one. And you'll hear, you hear in the background, a little change in the, in the tone. It's just switching from one channel to another. Anyways, that's everything.